What's going on guys? I apologize for the length of the grass, but my long guy's out of town for two more weeks and I'm not doing it because it's like 100 degrees out. Uh, but nice little segue from that into my topic. Um, <clears throat> you know, this time of year we obviously want to take our snakes or whatever animal we have outside. Um, but I think that we don't think a lot of times about how hot the ground gets and especially with the snakes it's really important to make sure that you're not putting them on surface temperatures that are <clears throat> dangerous for them and can potentially burn them so uh, what I did is I got one of these uh, it just takes the temperature of you know the ground whatever it's really good for my enclosures because I get to see what the ground temperature is inside the enclosures it's good to see what the temperature of the snakes are sometimes but it's also really good to take out back and get a good idea of what the temperature in the backyard on the or wherever on the ground is going to be before putting them down. So, you know, I've got these this pathway and these rocks I'm standing on barefoot right now. They're hot. So let's see. It's 114 degrees and the sun really just came out about 10 minutes ago. Uh, you know, the ground temperature next to it is 118, 120 109 now they really can handle a decent amount but if there's any question whatsoever you don't want to risk it um you know i was over here let's come over in the shade again sorry it's a little messy back here but i'm lazy so this is the shady part and that's 92 so I can tell you by standing on it right now, it's not bad at all. I would have no problem putting her on this. It's not going to burn her. They can handle some higher temperatures. But once it starts getting up, you know, in that 120, 130, you know, it's you want to definitely want to keep them off. If it's if you can feel that it's burning your foot, obviously it's too hot for the snake, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So guys, if you haven't got one already and you have your snake out a lot, I would get yourself one of these. It's really good for having inside your enclosure as well. Um, I use Pro Products heat panels, but I get to use this to make sure the hot spots, um, <clears throat> the hot spots, the ground temperature isn't too hot. And, you know, it's just beneficial all around. I, mean, I think this thing was like 10 bucks. So it doesn't have to be, oh, oh God, what's going on over here? <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this is happening right now. This is a black racer attacking a rat. Or a rat attacking a black racer. I don't know what's going on. But holy live TV. Holy crap. I'm sorry, guys. The rat is chasing the black racer. Now it's running away because it sees me. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> holy shit. The rat was attacking the black racer. The black racer is all the way down here. Wow. Never know what you're going to get. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. The grass, again, it's long. But <laughs> we got a lot of projects going on this weekend. So anyway, guys, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Just do whatever you want.